slow in down to second gear. Brakes are awesome, man. It's it's a it's a true supercar. I have trends. Welcome to Ricky's Man Cave and look what we have today people an Aston Martin V8 Vantage it's no secret Ricky's not a huge supercar guy I know we've done the 720s and that but I'm more about affordable highly modified cars but this thing's bad boy she is bad I'm telling you timeless design 2007 45,000 miles on the clock full service history you can see finishes silver and she's on that website you seen, you seen the website right lnfgames.com tickets 99p somebody be winning her Wednesday at 10 p.m. so uh, yeah it's our first supercar we've done the r8 with the v8 we've done the v10 plus and now an aston martin so yeah v8 it's running around 380 bhp uh, 303 foot pounds of torque it's rear wheel drive it likes to slide out of corners there's no like tons of driver settings it's pretty much back to basics six speed manual gearbox there was an automatic option uh, but it's actually surprisingly good like i always think of aston martins as like the lazy daily drivable supercars but it's actually pretty nimble and uh, brakes are good as well 355 mil discs up front 330 mil discs on the rear uh, not sure on the size of the calipers but yeah good condition we've got the seven spoke uh, wheels we've got the seven spoke alloys 19 inches all round finished in gloss black you can see gloss black mirrors mate it's a really nice looking car can you believe it's 2007 like what is this 13 16 years old and uh, cabin wise it's actually really really nice the design is pretty cool actually you didn't see that they're actually like butterfly doors so they kind of swoop butterfly doors not butterfly doors like swan doors they sort of go up something like that joe but yeah cabin you can see like you've got these nice sculpted seats uh this sloping dash it's all surrounded in this brown leather we've got alcantara headlining you can see down there we've got the six speed manual box and it's a very simple cabin it's not cluttered with buttons as i say there's no driver mode you can turn traction control off uh, we've got a sat navigation up here the engine is derived from a, a jaguar engine as well actually it's a 4.3 v8 as already mentioned revs to around 7000 rpm yeah i think that's the best i'm gonna do lads i think we'll jump out and as i say take it for a pov drive Guys, man, it's not going to be a super informative video. Uh, we're just going to go for our first impressions, really. I have driven it a little bit, but you can probably see cabin wise, it is definitely a special place to be. It is cool, man. I'm just having an Aston Martin in the sun. I can only imagine what this thing would sound like with a decat, but it's a real silky smooth engine, man. You really got to step on the throttle, it's very lazy look nice and flat stable tractors on right now look how long it revs out for six thousand seven thousand <laughs> into third gear the gears are really really long it's just really stable man it, i don't know why i've just had this thought process towards aston martins that they're not very dynamic cars they're a bit they come across as clumsy and a bit i don't know just cruisers you know obviously english made but now i've driven it a little bit longer i'm adapting to the throttle it's really lazy you gotta smash the pedal to get the like to get the revs up look at that proper it's not a sensitive throttle and there's no sort of imagine in an m3 just press the sport plus button and it'll sharpen everything up let's get the windows down heel and toe in down to second gear brakes are awesome man it's it's a it's a true supercar of how flat it is, it reminds me of the R8. Yeah, another thing to point out is this is proper old school, guys. Obviously, 15 plus years old, but literally, my foot is killing right now. There's literally like, like not bruised, but I can feel the muscle contracting. And, and on top of that, it does actually feel like a really good basis. It's sharp, but then at the same time, it's a bit sort of soft, like you know, it's a bit tight ever so slight bit of movement but i've said it many times now it is a proper driving car and i'm very surprised never i mean i know the later mercs should i say any new car really 
generally handles pretty well, but look, manual gearbox revving out of VA. <laughs> But yeah, in general, the gearbox is good. I've not misshifted. It's initially when I first jumped in the car, I was like, oh my God, like this is gonna be, yeah, something that's gonna take a little while to get used to. But the more cars I get to drive, the quicker I'm able to adapt to these vehicles. Fuel is uh, pretty bad, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie, people, but check it, look. What is this color? It's like a purple, it's all purple, isn't it? It's not even brown. But yeah, check it out. You've almost got like this three piece dash. It's in sections. It's sloping down, surrounded in leather, the white stitching. You've got the engine start here. It's a nice place to be. To think you can pick up one of these for about £30,000 is uh, pretty unreal. If you've got dreams of owning a supercar, you've got the R8, you've got this Aston Martin, and it is a really, really nice looking car, man. Of course, this one's on the website, only 45K on the clock. It is very confident inspiring this car. Bit of movement there. Not sure if we've got an LSD from a factory, but she is heavy, 1700 kilos. Don't feel it though. Like the, the, the controls feel heavy, you've got a heavy clutch, heavy-ish wheel. Definitely feel the, the, the ABS like grabbing the, the discs. I can feel it sort of stealing a little bit of power. Rev match down to third. Really long gears, man. Oh, sounds awesome. It is actually a very fast car. I mean, 380 horsepower, 380 horsepower at the end of the day. Naturally aspirated as well. I think the later versions, like the 2008, uh, they, were, they went up to around 425. I know that Cosworth apparently did some work with Aston at some stage. There was track versions of these, if you remember. Yeah, Cosworth, they did like a, a aerodynamic package, a lighter wheels, and obviously they did like a power upgrade as well. Pretty expensive at the time. But yeah, when this car was first released, they were around £80,000. Obviously, £80,000 today will get yourself, you can't even get yourself into an M4 for that money. But as you can imagine, 80 grand back then was probably a little bit different to it is right now. dynamically I'm just trying to think like how I would even compare it to an E92 because we've got a similar V8 similar amounts of torque but this does really feel fast as you get up in the RPMs one thing I have noticed though when pushing on a bit you almost need to be a gear down you can't be a gear up it's just there's nothing there and it's weird it's like to think it only revs at 7k it feels like it revs a little bit higher than that oh god but now you want to go first usually this is second gear but you just find to be a gear down sounds insane man you cannot beat a bloody v8 engine very surprised at how dynamic it feels rev matching is nice as i say you've got to press the pedal a little more than you're used to like this car is screaming for an exhaust down to first. This is proper back to 380 horsepower. It's like, it's just right, you know that. I can feel it swinging on itself. I, I reckon this car probably doesn't. I wonder if it does have a limited slip dev. Yeah, I must say the power is perfect. You know that it's not, it's not enough to get you in trouble. Like when you've got them torquey turbo engines, you can really spin up the wheels and lose traction, you know, like the uh, like the F80 M3s almost. This just enables you to really stay on the throttle. So I'm just trying to figure out how to summarize this video. I mean, first time driving a, a Advantage and um, definitely a cool alternative to say like a V8 R8. I told you, sub 30, 40K, you can get one of these. And it is actually a proper driver's car, rear wheel drive, manual gearbox, Rev to 7000, you've got that lovely V8 engine. It sounds awesome. Can only imagine what it sounds like with like a decat exhaust. But uh, yeah, guys, as always, if you enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. And remember, this car is on the website lfgames.com. Ticket link in the description. So yeah, I'll see you next time.
a right or a left turn Lamborghini made the heads turn Enough fuel for the next journey Man's wheel spinning, got the heads turning Exhaust smoke like a fire burning Just bought a bim, a man's buying Germans Park where I want, didn't buy a permit Wanna join the team, then buy a jersey Full tank full of gasoline